Well, I'm absolutely beside myself because the band conversion uh, can get underway once again. Uh, I started uh, some time ago. Uh, what actually slowed everything down, two or three things. First of all, it got really, really hot here real, real fast. I mean, when it was 105 degrees outside, inside that tin can, it was 110, 115 degrees. Of course, when it gets that hot, it, it's pretty tough to work in that kind of a environment, as you well know. Of course, then I uh, spent a few weeks back in Chicago. When I was there, I had a major uh, uh, project. I was uh, painting the uh, stairwell leading down from uh, uh, the loft. Uh, it turned out pretty good. If you haven't seen that, I did make a YouTube video on it. I think it's just titled The Stairwell Project. Uh, I had a lot of fun doing this one. Uh, it was a large project, big painting. There was actually three uh, paintings. Uh, two hummingbirds and a wild bird that you saw there. Uh, kind of designed this around some of the street art that you see in Chicago. But again, if you want to see this from start to finish, it's a short video, about four minutes and 30 seconds. Uh, and then the biggest uh, holdup, I guess you'd say, is a, a back order on something that I absolutely had to have. It's an item that uh, uh, without it, the whole camper van conversion couldn't work, wouldn't work. Uh, but it finally arrived and it's a beauty and it really seems like now because it did arrive this is going to happen of course i'm talking about my thetford 135 porta potty now this project really seems real i've got some big plans for this thing uh, above and beyond its intended use uh, i'm going to have a, a secondary use for it another reason you want to stay tuned uh, I'll be doing a, a video just on what I intend to do with this. Mostly deals with uh, how I'm going to conceal it. It's a beauty though for certain. I love it. So this project started in the early spring by me cutting a big hole on top of the van to install my Max Air fan. Used the shaft to create an interesting frame for the interior there. Then I uh, went ahead and insulated the ceiling and then frame the steel members where the ceiling will attach. And I did start the uh, driver's side of the framing, then had to stop. So today the plan is to finish up the framing on the driver's side and on the uh, passenger side. I did go ahead and uh, put some uh, nailer strips up on the back wall. Uh, and I did also take the time to uh, insulate that. There's a lot of heat and cold that uh, is trapped in the cab and it was suggested that I insulate that to uh, kind of reduce any of that heat or cold coming into the living space. So each piece there had to be cut and fitted, placed into position. I think it'll make a, a big difference once the, uh, the conversion is complete. Uh, this camper van conversion project reminds me a lot of the uh, uh, the last major job I did, and that was the garage conversion. Uh, it was a true mess until uh, things started coming together. Uh, the framing on the three different cabinets that I did. Uh, lots of trim out work, right down to a, a, a art wall, I call it, to uh, hide the mechanicals in the garage. Takes time. So today's project starts by cutting some more uh, 2 by 4 framing that's going to go on to the main uh, uh, metal parts of the van. Uh, these had to be ripped at uh, 15 degrees. They had to cut little sections to fit around some of the bump outs that they have in the framing. Everything has to be countersunk to hide the screws because the walls have to be flush. Uh, uh, everything's pre-drilled and held in place with the one and a half inch uh, self-tapping uh, metal screws. Time consuming for certain, but you want to do this part right because it's the, 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 the main part of what holds everything together. Next step is just to cut the uh, rest of the framing members. 
Again, this was a little different because uh, one end of the, each framing member has to be uh, cut at a 10 degree angle to fit the two by four frame. So, made all my cuts, both for the uh, driver's side and the left side, and the uh, passenger side. Uh, and then over the uh, Craig's jig. It is certainly nice to be able to use the uh, chopsmith as a nice uh, workbench. It supports the uh, Craig jig setup that I've got. So just a matter of cutting all those pieces and uh, getting them installed. Quick work, really. I'm finishing up the uh, passenger side right here. Very solid. This stuff isn't going anywhere. You can see how everything fits nicely here. Looks good. Well, with the majority of the framing complete now, I can move on to uh, putting the ceiling in. Oh, excuse me. Running my wiring. I'm gonna go pretty simple on the wiring, but there is gonna be some uh, indirect lighting, strip lights, a couple strips, six foot long on each side over here. There's a reading light going in over here. Uh, I'll need some DC wiring for my uh, refrigerator, uh, my DC wiring for my uh, TV monitor slash monitor. Uh, that's all gonna be run over on this side. Uh, once that's in, then I can put the ceiling in. Then I'll move into the back wall, the main cabinet wardrobe, then the uh, sofa bed. The sofa that's actually going to pull out into a bed. And the last thing I'll do is the, uh, the galley over here. Finish the walls, paint, trim out. Done. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? It's actually going to take about uh, four, five, six months more. So I spent a lot of time uh, looking at YouTube, and there's a uh, great number of examples of great camper builds, great ideas, but I found a, a couple that were especially nice that I'm going to try and model uh, this camper van build around. They're just really uh, exquisite, uh, really have the features that I want to put in mind. Uh, I just like them. So some progress has been made. Uh, of course, we'll put the uh, Shostman really to use and when we get into the fun stuff, like the bed I was talking about, uh, that cabinet back there is going to be interesting, uh, a lot of fun. The only thing I can say is you want to probably stay tuned, make sure you're subscribed, and uh, walk along this path with me and we'll see how she all turns out.